Hello everyone, this is Jacob Gilliland from TCO Fly Shop, and today we're gonna to be tying the classic Prince Nymph with a little twist. I like fishing this fly in sizes 12 through 16. Uh, this fly is supposed to imitate a stonefly nymph, which are prevalent in our freestone streams here in central PA and south central PA. Um, this fly is great because it's um, a little flashy, but also imitative. And there's a lot of cool materials out there that we're gonna be using today. Our hook is a fully male jig force in size 12. We're gonna pair that with a hairline slotted tungsten gold bead and 3.8 millimeter. The thread we're gonna be using is Vivas 10 aught in rusty brown. The ribbing is going to be a French oval tinsel in gold size small. The body is going to be strung peacock curl. We're going to be using three to four strands. Uh, let's see, the tail is going to be dark brown goose biots. The wings are going to be white goose biots. The collar of this fly, used to imitate the legs, are going to be fulling mill CDC in brown. And a little bit of a thread collar uh, for this or um, dubbing collar is gonna be the SLF prism dubbing in Peacock. Those are all the materials used uh, to tie this fly. Let's get into tying. Okay, so after securing our thread, we're gonna wrap back towards the hook bend. Once we have tied back to the straight portion of the hook shank, we're going to tie in our tails. Um, we are using goose biots and dark brown for the tails, and I have oriented these goose biots in a way that they splay out from each other. And so I've taken my thumb and index finger and kind of pinched them together so that the tips are even. And I'm going to place them uh, on top of the hook shank and measure them to form a tail that's about half to three quarters of the length of the shank. Okay, I'm gonna transfer my measurement. And then I'm gonna transfer my other hand. Now when tying in the tails, I'm going to angle the tails a little bit towards me and take one loose thread wrap. And then I'm going to pinch down and then thread torque should bring those tails up to the top of the hook shank. And we wanna make sure our tails are even. And that's about good there. We're gonna take several thread wraps to secure our tails and build up a little bit of body. All the way up to the bead. Okay, now we're gonna tie in our ribbing. Ribbing's gonna be oval French tinsel in size small. We're gonna secure that to the far side of the hook. Okay. Now we're going to take couple strands of peacock curl, trim off the brittle tips, secure them in at the base of the tails. And start wrapping the body. all the way up to the bead. We're gonna secure the peacock curl with a couple of tight thread wraps. Trim our excess. Now we are going to counter wrap our French tinsel. And open spiral wraps, evenly spaced. Up the body. 
and secure the tinsel with a couple of tight thread wraps. We can trim away our excess. For the collar on this fly, we are going to use a Fooling Mill CDC feather in brown. We're gonna take this feather and stroke all of the feathers down so they stick out perpendicular to the stem. We're gonna isolate the tip. We're gonna tie in the tip with some nice tight thread wraps. Grab our hackle pliers. Raise the feather to vertical. Stroke all of the feathers back towards the tail. We're gonna take a couple of wraps and with each wrap, we're gonna stroke the fibers back towards the tail. Once we've taken two full wraps, we're gonna secure the CDC feather. And trim off the excess. Now to make sure that we have a nice landing pad for our wings, we're gonna trim the CDC off the top of the fly, just like so. And now we're ready to tie in our wings. Now, same thing with the tails. The wings on these should be pretty stout, so we're gonna select two goose biots that are pretty stout, uh, this time in white. And the wings, what I like to do is tie them both in at the same time, making sure the tips are even. And I want the tips of the wings to extend to about the base of the tail. I'm gonna lay them on top of the hook shank and take a couple of thread wraps. Just kind of orient these wings the way you want them before you apply any thread tension. That looks about right there. Once I get the wings where I want them, I'm gonna fold the butt ends back, take a couple of thread wraps, and then I'm going to take my scissors and trim the butt ends as close as possible. Okay, the last step to cover up all of our work right behind the bead is to take a little bit of SLF prism dubbing. I'm just gonna take a really, really small pinch and make a tight dubbing noodle. shiny collar right behind the bead. I'm going to take some Loctite brush on super glue. Apply some glue to the thread. Take a couple tight thread wraps and whip finish. Trim off our tag, and there is our completed fly. Thanks for watching this fly tying tutorial. Let us know what fly tying content you would like to watch next.